百卷情，千般缘，色与空，弹指间，轮回路，游万次千，求不得，闭上眼，一生功名。青春。口中念，心中念，现实报，却方便。修行路，无名气，翻动时，莫等闲。一生功名，情如烟。Master, it still puzzles me. A monk's lust for gold should be quelled. Why does Elder Jinche still cling to that one Kasaya? Hmm. Bereft of that Kasaya, how shall they show the world their ties are cut and their lust is quelled? Across streams, over hills, and through the black wind, your blood has spilled. Wolves howl, snakes wind, flames lick, and the smoke blinds. Stumble on the lesser, lame, crash before their betters, shame. With such clumsiness, what destiny do you claim? As the small fish catches its prey, the bigger lurks behind. Who is the bigger fish? I can't see it. As for the prey and the small fish, <laughs> they are swimming everywhere. In his last life, the monk was Jin Chanzu, the second disciple to Buddha in the West. Yet his arrogance led him to disregard the Dharma teachings, and as a result, the Buddha cast him down to the mortal realm. He was destined to face 81 trials throughout his journey. The fire for that kasaya was merely the eleventh. A mere human, blessed with a lifespan nearing three centuries, yet he was never sated. He just had to seize that one kasaya. Centuries of devotion, undone by a moment's greed. In the end, a lost soul became him. How pathetic! A fine guardian for Guan Yin he could have been, yet he came back here to daydream immortality. Sadly, he had the greed, but lacked the pluck. He could fool his followers, but not himself. His destiny was sealed the moment he donned that band. 
Which deities do most abound upon the earth? The keepers, surely. Though humble in rank, nothing in the mortal world escapes their eyes. You'd be wise not to spurn their kind, for who knows... Each of them bears a distinct root from birth, superior and inferior. None should disturb what's decided. Am I right, Sun Wukong? With the wind and sand you've endured here, did you reach the Forgotten Kingdom at the end of the land? Did you find the clash of stones and the fall of Tiger's Acolyte? If you shut your ears and heed only your inner murmur, I fear the more you yearn for flawless endings, the further you'll stray from the path. Rats and cats, neither grasped their destiny, and yet neither admitted it. Listen closely, young one. Their complaints ride upon the wind. No wind wrought such destruction here. The Samadhi wind brought only malice here. Vajras and Arhats before the yellow wind shivered. Mounts of Bodhisattvas, a lion cyan and an elephant white in fear quivered. A wicked Yaogwai of fierce might followed a discerning master. 
It was his blessing, but also became his curse. They could have put their belief in anything, yet they chose a Yao Guai. Those who deny the rules must suffer the wrath. in the mortal world for a good while, didn't you? Speak clearly. Once again, I proved it to you, Jin Shan Tzu. You chose a means to an end, not to a proof. You sow chaos in hearts just for the sake of winning. How absurd and pathetic. <laughs> if not for winning, why debate over means and ends?
That stone monkey merely named himself a sage. Yet this altar boy dared to found his own faith and proclaim himself Buddha. Your faith is firm and will unwavering. You resisted his lures. All those who were high and mighty found their minds lost and their faith stained. But was it truly because of their devotion to Yellowbrow? <laughs> As you braved ice and snow, did the stench of shattered ego reach your nose? Not in wisdom. You've not only hurt Bajia and his darling, but also laid waste to the seal of the High Ones. A grave misdeed. Mortal or immortal, 
all seek to break from the past and start anew. Yet destiny, like a lover's tongue, speaks one way and means another. Though you may savor it yourself, you can never tell if you truly want it or not. Ah, even the sacred Gormond remains mundane if he clings to the ties of love. He was an admiral of the court, a pig in the mountains, and Bajia in the journey. Yet his nature remains unchanged. <laughs> so be it. A guileless fool may know less sorrow. This one must be a high immortal from the court. Amid the trials of the Seven Spiders and the Many-Eyed One, it was Bodhisattva Pilanpur who lent a hand. No aid from the court was given. But Wukong is ever heedless of rules. He might have sought higher places for help. Long ago, the Many-Legged One was subdued by Bodhisattva Pilanpur and locked on Purple Cloud Mountain. Only by a plea from the Celestial Court was he spared. The Immortals dispatch minions to enact their will, while they remain serene as if playing a game of chess. Pity those pawns. They know full well what they are, yet they cling to false hopes and even take pride in it. You've atoned through deeds, Black Bear. Take this pair of eyes. You've served the righteous cause, Yellow Rat. These ears are yours. Your power has gathered anew, Yellow Brown. Keep this nose. You've endured hardships on the eye. Go with the town. And the bull, it is the hardest to turn against a sworn brother. You can have his body. from the river of childbearing to bear that boy in my womb. If not for that monkey, we could have lived our separate lives in peace. As if none of this had happened. You're 
Yeah. You knew who I was from the start. Why do you choose yeah. to be their lapdog? Yeah. I never wanted to sever our ties. Yeah. If kinship means anything to you, give me that relic. And let me avenge yeah. my people. Your brother, I've disciplined. Your boy, I've given away. Your wife's fan. Today, I'll take it with me too. Find a master and serve the right. It's the only path left for the likes of us. Don't you understand, brother? <laughs> Wukong! I took out the bull's concubine with a whack of my rake too! <laughs> <laughs> Turned out, oh, she was a fox guy. <laughs> The Akshas are the mightiest of the Eight Legions, after all. Be your body hard as metal, meeting death in scores is inevitable. Yet, why did you endure the fish and those carts just as poorly? <laughs> you rush like wind with a clouded mind. It's your desires that shape what you see. Had your mind been less unsettled, would you still have fallen for that child's play? Haste oft blinds while patience illumines. Next time, can you two fulfill as Wukong without Baji?
You must have heard tales about him. Some say he helped Tongue Monk fetch the scriptures, was granted Buddhahood, and stayed on Mount Lingshan thereafter. Some say it was not him who was granted Buddhahood. The real him was already dead on the journey to the West. Some say that the journey never happened. He is nothing but a monkey who lives in some storyteller's tall tale. <laughs> but now, you will hear a tale which no one has ever known. Thank you. 